everyone's talking about 5G these days. For us as network engineers, how can we leverage the presence of other technologies in utilizing or servicing 5G to our maximum advantage? Uh, this module is about uh, utilizing fog computing, which is um, user end or edge network side of cloud computing as a support or an enabling environment for 5G technology adoption. Uh, we are going to look at how 5G technology is going to be conceived over time, how will the people embrace it, and then how fog computing can be thought of as an enabler. 5G, as we know it, is a multi-layered heterogeneous network. Um, though we look at it purely from the communication perspective, from the network and service perspective, it subsumes uh, all the technologies which precede it. Um, new technologies and new services like mobile satellite service, digital video broadcast, uh, wireless LANs and personal area networks, and the WiMAX technology all are going to be interoperable and uh, going to be dovetailed with 5G. And then in our uh, uh, coverage context, we have the micro, pico, femto, and relay cells, which would also coexist in 5G network. So if we, if we appreciate the services that 5G could possibly offer, including all the services from 4G back to 1G, including some newer uh, services like uh, user experience involving a lot of contextualization, uh, what is the best way to move to 5G technology once we have these technologies available. We could think of it in a very evolutionary manner, or we could think of it as a very radical system deployment, or we could think of it as a coexistence of uh, the evolution and uh, integration of deployment, integration and deployment of newer technologies. 4G, as we know it, has some performance requirements which in turn generate the network requirements. For instance, we have the latency requirements, uh, we have mobility, that is speed requirements, uh, we have the data rates, uh, we have the uh, packet delay budget requirements for interactive traffic, for guaranteed delivery, etc. And then some uh, packet loss ratios. If you look at 5G, it is way ahead in most of these uh, most of these technical and business requirements so how can we possibly think of the existing technologies which could help us to leverage its uh, existence for uh, moving to 5g smoothly so uh, let's look at fog computing fog is essentially a fad or a buzzword that extends the cloud computing concept uh, to the edge of the network once edge means it involves smartphones, um, tablets, and um, other user equipment uh, involving uh, emerging uh, areas uh, which overlap across these, in, including the concept of mobile communication, micro clouds, the distributed system design considerations, and of course, incorporation of data analytics. With these devices, uh, which form part of the fog computing environment uh, through cooperation uh, offer uh, their services, of course, through some incentive for storage and processing. The advantage of uh, uh, fog versus cloud is the immense proximity because the users are uh, actually offering their services and leveraging the services from other users in their proximity. Um, then, uh, the users are many, so the density is very high, and uh, there's support for mobility already embedded to a default uh, feature of uh, mobile communication. So this is a good comparison of uh, how fog computing is going to uh, compete with cloud computing against different service types, location, um, the number of nodes which could participate, and the geographical distribution, the throughput and delay parameters, and uh, the uh, deployment. So uh, if you look at all these, you will understand that fog complements 
can't exist at its own that much because some kind of federation is the hallmark or the beauty of cloud computing. But essentially, it is going to augment the services provided by the cloud environment. Uh, think about the overall performance of um, network, particularly 5G network in our case, as a weighted sum of uh, the coverage that 5G network offers, the capacity that it has for a certain number of users, and the quality of service experience. So we can think about interesting use cases. In fact, uh, the, I'm going to refer the research paper to you from, from where I have um, quoted these. The first one is uh, crowd sensing the base station through active pro probing, through a packet train, and uh, through the uh, passive uh, received signal strength indicator measurement, uh, the um, cloud devices, uh, the fog computing devices, could interact with each other and could also interact with the environment to update the status of certain base stations like E node Bs in Evolved Packet Core environment. Then we have the OTT services. Uh, we already know what OTT services are. So here in this case, the network management activities could be um, offloaded to the mobile devices because uh, in fog environment, we don't need an extra network entity, a recognized network element to be incorporated by the service providers. So this is the beauty of having a, a handy environment of for computing. Uh, then uh, since we have a variety of uh, connectivity types, we call them the verticals and the horizontals. That is uh, within uh, the uh, technology spectrum, we can move from one technology to, to the other, like Wi-Fi, WiMAX, EVO, et cetera, um, in case of uh, backup. Uh, or we can move from the within uh, staying in the same technology, we can move from one device to the other that simply hand over. So network selection and uh, in, in a heterogeneous environment could be facilitated through the um, devices in for computing. Um, and uh, interestingly, uh, some kind of download activity on the mobile devices could be done in a mutually shared manner that's known as the bandwidth borrowing in machine-to-machine uh, -machine communication or device-to-device -device communication um, or even you if you're interested in doing some kind of torrent download you could uh, harness the presence of other mobile devices in your proximity and you could come up with some kind of caching or mirroring mechanism that benefits all and then uh, with regards to the availability of multiple wireless interfaces, some kind of beamforming could also be thought where uh, uploading activity could be availed through, uh, could be improved by identifying a total number of interfaces which are, which are available and then uh, creating multiple uh, streams of your traffic which could be uploaded, saving the overall time in upload or even download activity. Uh, the paper is uh, available online. It is fog computing as a support for a 5G network uh, by Tony Janevsky. We know Tony Janevsky very well from the uh, Next Generation Network uh, textbook. 